Hello, my dearest loved ones. How have you been? <laughs> if you remember our last video that I talked about our new daily routines, and I'm sure that after almost one week, you have changed so much energetically and physically. Personally, I feel so much energized <laughs> my energy level really go up at least two or three levels and I'm, I'm i cannot be more grateful about it however i also listen to my own body that after one week of intense training i took two days off okay <laughs> now today i'm back again <laughs> and i took a really nice improvisation dance class um, there, I might make a new friend again. <laughs> so as you can see, when you are in your highest vibrational frequency and you go out to the people, to the collective, very easily people, uh, any sentient being with similar vibrational frequency will be attracted to come closer to you. And there's absolutely nothing you need to worry about or do. <laughs> and however, it's very important to be kind to yourself too. Asking yourself to be on the highest vibrational frequency at all time. That's a little bit too strict, okay? It's like a tiger mauler. <laughs> And to be a really, really good caring mother to your own inner child is to really find out her most authentic rhythm and to let her rest, okay? Like when my inner child is um, acting out, <laughs> it could be sometimes a little bit too much, That which means that I'm obsessed with some new program and I just cannot pause cannot make any rest okay so i have to force myself i have to have a really deep chat telling myself look you have been doing so good you know like but compared to mm, the weeks before your body is a little bit um not used to this level of intensity what if you trade it with some other more soft program and also sometimes when I went into some exercise and I'm just so into it that I went all the way okay <laughs> so today I also talk myself out uh, uh, from uh, going too wild <laughs> at the dance class so I paced myself I Instead of um, going all in, I actually um, go into more gentle, soft movement while really pay attention to the surrounding. Before, often time, I was all the way into my own energetic feel. I'm so in the zone that I forgot about everything else. You could ask me who was at that class and I wouldn't even remember anyone's face. But now I changed, okay? Instead of dancing with my eyes closed, I had my eyes wide open. And I really checked out everyone <laughs> in a very friendly and curious way, okay? And I think everyone has so much to share so much to give and so much to celebrate and to be honest it's actually also wonderful coming back to the collective and this really reminds me of how much i love human being <laughs> yes 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 there's so much darkness so much trauma so much sorrow so much unhealed wound inside the collective that is true don't forget that for how much negativity there is, there's at least equal amount of positivity. So 
when suddenly I come into the collective seeing everyone in front of me at the class, I just feel that everyone's so adorable. <laughs> really, I love people. Um, I'm much better with my own boundary. I check in more often with my own energetic feel, which allow me to really enjoy human being. <laughs> so I really wanted to share this with you because I think that we are very social creatures, right? Yes, isolation is very important. In fact, that, that the problem is that we're a little bit too social. So most of people, majority of people, going through their whole life, just keep busy by socializing all the time, okay? They have to be on the phone all the time, texting all the time, or watching something on social media, like all the time connect with people, cannot unplug. But here I'm talking about the ones who are completely capable of unplugging, okay? You are able to go within. And when you're really, really, really enjoying yourself, and there will be a moment you realize that you also miss the warmness and the sweetness and this inspiration that you receive by interacting with other people. It's truly wonderful. <laughs> Not only um, seeing the different shape, different look, different style, different um, way of carrying themselves. This is quite interesting for me to look at. I also realized that I, I am no more so critical anymore. Like really like, okay, studying art really helped me to build up the entire system for critical thinking. That's very, 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 very important. So you don't go around in your whole life um, being an ignorant person, okay? <laughs> and then they also help you to view your discernment, view your standard. Yes, it's very, very good. To an to extent that uh, I can really tell what what is wrong with certain event, with certain program, with certain structure, institution, or individual, or certain group, I can tell what the problem is. <laughs> it, that is really not that the easiest place to be, okay, <laughs> in the universe, okay? You cannot unseen after you're able to see something, okay? But the next step, is to be able to see everything from a place of compassion and unconditional love. And that is why I feel that, wow, everyone's doing so great and I admire their special movement and this kind of energy. And I can say lots of wonderful things about everyone and in the class, you know? I was just really, really enjoying being among other human beings. <laughs> <laughs> and this is probably one of the greatest change I noticed that um, I have had ever since pandemic, since me going all the way deep into healing myself in solitude, okay? So I'm so excited to share this with you. And especially, I'm excited for the last few weeks of test. The text that happened because Pluto uh, is back in Capricorn, okay? And it, you will have some a last moment of adjustment, okay? Like some final test to, to, to test how your spiritual practice uh, has been going. Like, is it solid, okay? Like, it feels like there will be devil, there will be some, some attempt, some... Uh, something to trick you <laughs> if you fall back into the old traps. <laughs> but if you hang strong, you are like, no, 
This is new me, new self. I'm so ready. I'm so ready to enter the age of Aquarius. Woohoo! And I'm going to carry out my dream with the highest frequency, okay? To gather all the people that is helping you together to go into this, this flow that is formed by the force from the universe and you can feel this flow already is coming up and personally coming back to one of my home like second or third hometowns in planet earth <laughs> it's also quite emotional okay and also the most emotional is not and meeting new people and taking on new program. No, no, of course, the most emotional moment and the more difficult experience is when you encounter the old people from your past. Oh, that is that is a moment of truth and moment of test, okay? That is to see how much compassion and empathy and spiritual practice you have done, okay? Or like you have deep down in your soul and you can feel it and um, especially uh, when you realize that there are different directions for people uh, to go from now on into the future maybe your past your past cross again or maybe some of them you merge and then you go together you know it's just all wonderful either way either way this is beautiful like some of them you may meet again for finishing unfinished business and some of them you may, may meet again as completely brand new people two of you or more to actually go into new business <laughs> so and this is all uh, super exciting and also it's like the real video game okay <laughs> so what is this video game there the video game there's one principle the principle is the law of the universe okay and there is a movement the sense of flow in the greater universe in our surrounding, in the big force, in the atmosphere, in the current, in the ocean, and also in the flow, in our body, our blood, and our energetic flow, our psyche, and also even this flow of emotion. Like, yeah, flow of energy in your head. <laughs> it's like, that's emotion, okay? Emotion is the energy in motion. So all of this together, the final sum, like final effect of all of these movements, that is that flow, okay? And so the only strategy for you as the player of this game of life is to find the flow and get into the flow and then you will ride away you feel that you suddenly become so efficient everything you think about you were even uh, recording or even uh, had a dream about or anything it just happened like this around the corner the next second the, the speed of manifestation is just picking up so drastically that you will be shocked all the time. Like basically, I have my mouth open like this <laughs> all the time. If before when you're healing in solitude, you can feel this game, you can understand that yes, it is true that you are the player in this round of magic, okay? Then, now, when you're in the collective, when you are be in the places of so much happening, you will be told, be proved with real life evidence that, yes, whatever you are thinking, 
that you can make it okay like the only problem things not happening it is because you are unsure about it <laughs> okay so truly be aware what you wishing for okay so that is also why i become a little bit hesitant about um, having a fixed goal before i realized that if ever when i was young if i really really want something let's say i want the first place of the com uh, conductor competition or want to get into this university or i don't know anything okay um if i was so clear i can have it this is not just me you can as well okay and this is the moment when Pluto coming back into Capricorn is that the real life will show up with full of evidence to tell you that this is the magical world. This is the game of life that we are all playing. As a player, the most important thing is to find the rules, like the game plan, like what is the how how you can win and play this game. If you understand that, if you also understand you as a character completely if you can identify you know very special authentic unique you everything about you and then it's very 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 fast since we just manifest like this and also this is the moment you will be put in front of all this miraculous happening uh, mystical experience, um, whether it was people, events, situation, objects, things, and some of them you just cannot even wrap your hand. You cannot understand how this is so true, like so real. Your magical power is so real. If before you understand that the true power is that you are able to believe before your eyes can see something you can believe you have the faith and now is that your physical eyes your physical body your real life is going to show you that this is all this is true like your power of manifestation and this simulation and all all of this this game is real okay and then with this is mystical deep experience you could be even uh, not able to explain to another person what of course when we first encounter mystical experience or um, some very 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 life-changing moment we always wanted to tell other people and to to make other agree that actually it's happened to to me you know this is true it's not like i'm not like this, this is <laughs> That is not important okay remember that you don't need to share your mixed code experience with others to prove that you have the power to manifest to do whatever to do magic no uh -uh. true power is that you know for sure deep down in your heart you can do it you don't need no other person to agree that you can do it and you also know that you have absolutely no time for the disbeliever okay <laughs> and that could be an could be another um one extra new rules so okay the main rule is to follow the law of the universe to get into the flow follow this force so you can be effortlessly playing this game okay and then deep down uh, uh, coming down into practice there are specific um uh rules you can uh, come up with that can really help you for example where your attention goes your energy goes so save your energy be very 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 precious with your energy don't let anyone anything any situation that does not match your highest vibrational frequency to interrupt with your energetic 
feel. That is not、um, to reject something with hatred or whatnot. You can be sitting in front of a covert narcissist, one of your previous acquaintance or friends, but still keep it to yourself. Which means information,、um, your words, your life story. Uh, everything, your future plans, or just even just your energetic view, you're able to seal it, but still bring out your brightest self to share this moment of love. If you truly feel it, resonate with any sentient being. Okay, so you will have the compassion to even deal with. Then they, you know, the energy vampire or whatever you can name them, the ones that, in the most professional way, like professional game player, in this game called life. <laughs> That is the test, okay? So from now on until sometime in in November, when Pluto go into、uh, before Pluto go into Aquarius. And we will all experience many tests, okay? And I have faith in you that you can play so well. Like just make it fun, okay? Make it a game. Like don't worry about anything. It it will be actually some very memorable experience, and then you can take those experience as precious lessons, as your wisdom. To go into the future that you would like to manifest with the loved ones that you will be attracting effortlessly into you, your dream, your energy field, your this magnificent future you're going to build together. So I'm so excited. Are you excited? Make comment, okay? Or if there's anything you want me to talk about right now at this moment. Tell me. Let me know. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs>